All right, Specialized Wind Tunnel in San Jose, California with Steven Nyman. This is gonna be interesting, but this is also important for you. Tell me what you gained from your experience in a wind tunnel. Yeah, we uh, sit there basically in a little squat position, trying to figure out little things that I can do that give me free time when I'm racing. Yeah, it's always about getting faster, less drag, and you can gain a lot of that from the data you collect. Essentially, just finding little positions to make big differences. Well, I watched you earlier, you made it look easy and you make it sound easy, but I'm going for that right there, and I've gotta try and hold that in some pretty intense wind. It's gonna be interesting because I am not in Steve Nyman shape. Let's get me geared up and check this out. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, well, I looked the part, but uh, that's only the first step. So you're gonna show me how I'm supposed to do this safely and efficiently. <laughs> All right, main thing, this is the biggest parachute you got, your chest. So you want your chest down. Okay. So keep your chest down, then your arms are gonna break the wind coming at you. So arms ahead, chest down, and neck up, because you gotta look at where you're going. Roger. And then if you're really searching for more speed, get lower and lower in your legs. Don't drop your butt. Keep your chest flat, and uh, you're looking pretty good right yeah. there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to move tomorrow, but we'll give it a shot. So it's a lot of core. Obviously, it's a lot of quad strength, too, but core and back are a big part of this, too. Big time, buddy. All right. Good thing you've been training all summer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, so let's uh, show me where right, I What were the three things? Points. Okay, so chest, chest is down. your biggest parachute. Down. Arms in front. Arms out to break the wind. And then get low. Bend those knees. So like here. Like looking, my... looking pretty good. The, you don't want to drop your butt too much. You want to keep the back pretty flat. OK. And look where you're going. All right. I think you got it. I think I'm ready. Let's turn the wind on and see how I do. One thing. Uh, yeah. Don't forget your goggles. Oh, yeah, goggles. <sighs> All right, I'm ready to be Steve Nyman. Let's do this. Buddy, that burns. <laughs> Man, does that burn. That was 30 seconds, and you guys do that for two minutes and 30 seconds. We knocked 10 seconds off, though. You only did 20 seconds. <laughs> wow. You're still dead. Wow. <laughs> wow. It felt like about a minute and a half, but yeah, that's intense. I mean, you, it mostly for me, you know, you feel it in your legs big time, but hey, man, mad respect to you on that. That, uh, that burns real good. <laughs> Right on, dude. I'm gonna leave the uh, downhill skiing and perfect tuck position up to you, but thanks a million for showing me this, and uh, good luck this season, buddy. No problem, no problem. Whew. Now when you get on the resort, you know how to tuck. Fly by some people. I'm gonna look great. I'm gonna, gonna look, look great. good. Wear that spandex, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna carry me out of here, right? <laughs> <laughs>